All right, guys. So we're back today. Uh, I decided to continue after I did my hardscape to go ahead and just start planting. So I'm going to start with the bromeliads in the back. On my back rounds, I put on that wicking material, the hydro grow, uh, the hydro lawn. And um, that's going to hold a lot of moisture for my bromeliads to root into it and give it a really good place to anchor. But to also to attach them right away, I went ahead and took the foam that came with Exoterra and I looped zip ties through it. So all I got to do is put my bromeliads in place and pull those zip ties. I put them kind of just all over where I thought bromeliads would be good, spaced out. And then in between, I'm going to put some moss and moss spores and stuff and hopefully it fills in real green and some vines and all that go in there. So we're going to start with the bromeliads today. We're going to put them in and um, after we do the bromeliads, we're going to do some other plants. I'm taking the last of my moss to do up in the front, lots of leaf litter in the back. And then uh, I collected a lot of that tree fern that I've been using in the other tanks. Uh, and I'm going to put that across all of the log, the fallen log, to make it look like it's been on the ground for a long time, has grown a lot of uh, foliage and different things. Some orchids on the branch, maybe some small bromeliads. Uh, and we're just going to take the few plants I have left and kind of just put them all over and see how it looks. And uh, we're going to let this one grow in for a long time. Uh, so I'm going to get to it.
So the camera turned off, um, ran out of batteries. So y'all didn't see the last little part of planting I did. Uh, the only thing you really missed was me putting some leaf litter in the back and I put some orchids, some little miniature orchids on the logs in the front and um, some decorative pods and nut shells and a couple of vining plants, things like that. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of each tank and put it up so y'all can see each tank. And you know, I I'm happy with how they came out. The, the middle one looks pretty good. This one over here, I'm okay with it. I really like this one bromeliad right here. It's my favorite. I wanted it in this spot so from my computer desk I could see it. It's gonna color up to a neon purple even more than it is now. And I have a little baby one right here. Hopefully it gets just as nice. A uh, little closer to the top than I want, so I might work them down a little bit. But you know, as much as I've been thinking about this design with the whole fallen tree branch, in the end, no matter what you do for your hardscape, if you plant it with enough plants, you're not gonna see it. So I guess that's a good thing. I guess that's a bad thing. Um, yes, we have a pretty hardscape but plants are more important than the hardscape in my opinion. So in the end, the plants just really took over. It really just looked like a big wall of bromeliads with some other plants down below. Hopefully the bromeliads send off pups and they fill in even thicker. Moss grows on the back, vines grow all in between them and everything does awesome. I did put some isopods and some dwarf white, uh, I meant dwarf white isopods and uh, some springtails in there and uh, start making it bioactive and uh, hopefully it will grow in pretty good in about two months or so we'll add the frogs and um, overall I accomplished what I needed to accomplish which was get some plants out from outside and get them in these tanks get these tanks done and get to work on other stuff I still need to fix that door over there that should be in this week but yeah that's it I'm going to go ahead and show you the close-ups, and then uh, I'll see you on the next build. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more, and I'll try to do for my next build something else besides just bromeliads. All right. See y'all.